Israeli army regulars on maneuvers near the Gaza border. The specter of a military invasion looming large over Gaza. If Hamas continues its aggression, then there will be no choice. But uh, it is not too late for the Palestinians to call on Hamas to stop its violence. Palestinian militants did not stop, firing another volley of rockets at Israel. Gazans say they know what's likely coming next. The expectations are present according to the threats that we hear. But if there's an incursion, it's not going to be as bad as the life we're living. You know that our living is really bad. The incursion might be worse, but we're going to bear it. What are we supposed to do? Preparations aside, Israel nonetheless opened border crossings, allowing in humanitarian aid and vital supplies, fuel for the main power plant, trucks laden with grain. Today we brought medicine to the crossing. It's been a month since we've been here. The army called us today and said we could come. Gaza has been under a tight Israeli blockade since Hamas took control in 2007. Violence in and around Gaza has flared since a six-month ceasefire ended a week ago. It escalated dramatically on Wednesday when militants fired more than 80 rockets and mortar rounds after Israel conducted deadly airstrikes. The deliveries may ease a mounting confrontation, but most observers in Israel feel it will inevitably end in significant military action to stop the rockets. Susan Flory, Reuters.